Hola YouTube, what's up? Hope so all are you doing great? So, Apple's macOS received a major overhaul last year with macOS Big Set, which brought the Mac experience closer to iOS than ever. That doesn't mean, however, that Apple is done improving on the Mac's operating system and the company announced the new macOS Montere at its annual worldwide developer conference. macOS Montere, also known as macOS 12, brings a series of new improvements of the Mac as a whole, including better integration with the iPad and features that are also coming to iPhone. Currently, the operating system is in its sixth public beta, which basically means that it's still being refined and developed and not yet ready for full release. You can download it if you want, but we recommend most people wait until a full consumer release. Excited about macOS Monterey? Here's everything you need to know. macOS Monterey is getting a number of relatively major updates along with a series of apps that are coming to apps and services on all of Apple's devices. We have listed both in our video. Safari is getting a major redesign for macOS Monterey and it has customers a little divided. Originally, the new Safari had a design that combined the tab bar and the URL bar, which looked very streamlined but made Safari harder to use for some. Later, however, Apple made that combined tab bar an option is in Safari rather than forcing customers to use it. Perhaps one of the biggest updates to macOS Monterey is the addition of universal control. Universal control essentially allows you to use your keyboard and mouse to control other Mac computers and iPads. Simply place your other Mac or iPad near your computer. Slide the mouse over towards the other device and it should pop up on your device. Your keyboard will be supported and you can drag and drop content across the two. Universal control still is not available in the public beta, so it is possible that the feature will be pushed to iOS 15.1 or iOS 15.2. Like other Apple devices, the Mac is getting focus. Focus essentially allows you to set profiles for your notifications. Depending on what you are doing, so you could have a work profile that only lets through work emails and messages. Or you could set a driving focus that only lets through calls and not text messages. In a focus, if someone messages you, they can be notified that your notifications are silenced. And if it is an emergency, choose to send the message anyway. Focuses automatically sync across your devices and developers can integrate their apps with it too. AirPlay is getting a major update on the Mac that lets you actually use your Mac as a display. With AirPlay, you can beam content from your iPhone, iPad or even another Mac. This means that if you have an iMac, it can be used as a screen for your laptop too. The feature works wirelessly or through a USB-C cable. It also works with audio, so it can be used for multi-room audio. Apple is making an effort to better protect users from email tracking. Mail privacy protection hides users' IP addresses, so senders can't track your online activity, determine your location, and so on. The feature also blocks tracking pixels. On macOS Monterey, Apple has rebranded its paid iCloud subscriptions to iCloud Plus. And iCloud Plus customers will now be able to get access to Private Relay. Private Relay basically encrypts all Safari browsing, routing it through the two separate internet relays. So the user's IP addresses, locations, and more can't be used to track them. The Mac is finally getting the shortcuts app that was first introduced on the iPhone and iPad. On the Mac, the Apple will allow users to create Mac specific shortcuts and shortcuts can be run from the dock, menu bar, spotlight or using Siri. Shortcuts created on your Mac can be used on an iPhone and vice versa.
If you are tech savvy and can put up with bugs and potentially your Mac not working at all, then installing macOS Monterey will not be a huge deal. If however you are an average person who doesn't want to have to deal with bugs and issues, then it is worth waiting until Apple is ready for a full public release. We expect that to come in the fall. Apple is known for supporting its hardware for years and as a result, macOS Monterey will come to have all of Apple's computers from the past few years. Interested to know if your Mac is supported? Here is the full list. MacBook 2015 and later MacBook Air early 2015 and later MacBook Pro early 2015 and later Mac Mini late 2014 and later iMac late 2015 and later 2017 later Mac Pro late 2013 and later